All right, we'd like to take a moment to show us how to turn on the Save My Password option for Office Communicator so that you don't need to retype the password each time. So we go to Start, we want to open Reg Editor, click Run, type Reg Edit, click OK, and then we're going to want to browse to HKey Local Machine. Then we want to go to uh, Software, then Policies, Microsoft, and you'll see the the tree. And then under Microsoft, we're going to want to add a new key. So right click, New Key, and we want to add a Communicator key. And then we want to add a new D word value underneath that, which is save password. We want to make that equal one, so we'll right click, modify value, change that to one, click OK. And now we have uh, uh, Office Communicator will be set up to give us an option to save the password, so we'll click close the register, uh, reg edit, open. Office Communicator, and we'll see a new option here, Save My Password. You can check that, and then we can log in without uh, um, Office Communicator will save the password, so we don't need to enter it every time. All right, and uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want to go through those clicks for each user, you of course could go reg edit. Uh, and export that um, that new entry that you made, and then just click on the on the machine that you want to add it. You can click on it. All right. How to save an Office the Office Communicator password if you're not in a domain environment or using it on a computer that's not inside the domain, and uh, just wanted to say that uh, I got that information and somewhat uh, modified it from OCSpedia.com. So that's where I got the information. It wasn't quite correct in that you needed to add a new key, and they said just edit an existing key. But how to save the Office Communicator password.